downtown Huntsville will be a busy place the next three days. The Association of the U.S. Army Global Force Symposium and Exposition is making its annual visit. Yeah, this year's theme is making the Army the most modern force it can be in a dangerous world. News 19 Steve Johnson has been at the VBC all morning and joins us live now. Hi right, guys, this is almost too big to show you, but this is an actual command post trailer. And this one is surrounded by a bunch of communication towers. And a setup just like this is going to be involved in an army experiment. Now, that intrigues me. Rob Voorhees with Blue Sky Innovations. How you doing? What is the experiment going to be? So every year, the Army, DEVCOM, C5, ISR, they put on an event called NetMod X 2024. It's actually held at Fort Dix, New Jersey. And what we're doing there is the Army's really trying to solve the capability gap of mobility, right? So what they're trying to do is to, to put dispersed command posts, vehicles, okay. in an experiment and be able to elevate communications equipment. So we're going to integrate our telescopic mass system. Okay. And we're going to integrate our next generation auxiliary power unit, which we're really, really excited okay, about. Okay, yeah, th this is this is cool. <laughs> if you saw Back to the Future, you remember the flux capacitor. <laughs> what do you call that? This is an axial flux motor, <laughs> and, and the beauty of this is is it actually pulls horse. It, it pulls the power out of the actual engine at 90, 97 percent efficiency. So we can actually scale this system from six kilowatts all the way up to twenty four kilowatts, and it's ideal for the ground combat vehicles because in mobility. Well, you, you you said that they're trying to figure out a way to have everything movable. Absolutely. No more tents, right? So back in the day where you had forward operating bases, now everything is moving and they need to disperse these command posts. What's happening is when you have um, assets, sensor packages, comm packages now placed on towers yeah. out at forward operating bases, now placed on command posts on vehicles. Yeah. There's a power requirement. Yeah. There's an issue, right? So you need to be able to power the weapon system, and you need to be able to power the comms packages and the sensor packages. This pluses up combat power and provides the capability of on the move. Yeah, and you can you can mount this. You told me almost anywhere on a vehicle. Absolutely, it's completely modular. It can come as a package. You can separate the axial flux. You can separate the power electronics to be able to step down okay. the power to be able to serve AC DC power across okay. the platform. Okay, this is in development, right? It is in development. So how far are we out before we have our, our flux generator? <laughs> well, the beauty is we're actually in contract with PEOGCS. This is the what does GCS stand for? Uh, ground, ground Combat, combat systems. systems. Okay. These are the folks uh, for the Army that actually build the combat ground okay. vehicles. So we're on a contract, just completed phase three. We're moving okay. into phase four. So by the end of 2024, okay. moving into 2025, we'll have a complete okay. system, 12 kilowatt plus system to be able to serve okay. and deliver to the Army. Okay, just stop for a second and talk yeah. about the fact there's a reason why you guys are here, why you get up in the yeah. morning, you said, yeah. to do this work, and why is that? Well, it's all about the warfighter. Our entire company, our company was uh, developed in, our, we created the company in 2002 by a veteran, and so we we are all about, in the morning, we get up to serve DOD, to serve yeah. the warfighter, to be able to help them solve yeah. their capability gaps. AUSA helps do that. Absolutely. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Rob Appreciate Voorhees it. with Blue Sky Innovations. Yes, sir. Uh, it's been a great morning. Steve Johnson live at the Von Brown Center. Back to you guys.